What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, man. 50 Cent finds himself in beef once again, man. This time with Shreveport, Louisiana artist Hurricane Chris, man. And listen, 50 Cent has been down there in Shreveport making major moves, man. Buying up property. He launched G-Unit Studios back in April, and he had a four-day festival with no hiccups, no violence, man, and even pitched in $500,000 to the Shreveport, Louisiana Police Department for added security, man. He even received praises from the mayor. But Hurricane Chris is publicly criticizing 50 Cent for not having any Louisiana artists perform at his festival, man. And he says 50 Cent is a culture vulture and an opportunist. It is interesting. I'm gonna let y'all get to it. Shout out to WAG 100. Shout out to 100 ENT. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. This Hurricane Chris nigga straight up said directly, he didn't put no money in the local rapper's pockets. 50 Cent will not be subject to extortion. He ain't going for it. Not gonna happen. Someone mentioned in the chat, they was like, now how does this tie into checking in? I said, I don't think Wack talking about the same checking in. Checking in, in too? Yeah. You, th you told 50 Cent supposed to check in? Who the fuck said? <laughs> No, no. 50 oh, cents so supposed to check in with Hurricane Chris. <laughs> no, that nigga ain't got to check in with a damn thing, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Let me tell you something. If I go buy some land somewhere and I'm finna build up, I'm not million. checking in to no nigga about what the fuck I, what the fuck I would. That nigga said 50 cent lack of knowledge makes you an opportunist. O-P-E-R-T-U-N-I-S-T. -E oh, my God. Wait, Ask who baby put why that? This is Hurricane Chris. Ask Baby why he talked me a kid into signing for 30K. Maybe I have more number ones if your rat friend didn't play me as a kid. And I got a heavy catalog that they know word for word. He said in CMY, which I-N-C-M-Y, one word. In CMY City, but you did no research on our history. You saw a chance to win by yourself. This nigga is mad that this man, what the f***, bro, but this nigga is still making new posts. He just did another post. Yo, this nigga right here is really, I think he wanted 50 to sign him or something. This is like keep the sneak going crazy because Cam yelled and put him on one of their radio shows. Oh, that's, that's what's going on. <laughs> Even though keep the sneak wouldn't do that, but I'm saying this is what this is like. Like, damn, nigga, like, he didn't use you. Now he ain't gonna never use you. Y'all ready? Yeah, let's hear this nigga. Dummy, you just proved my point. You don't know shit about the city. Shreveport, the nigga just said I got one song. I go all the way back to Five Entertainment. That's how I know you don't know shit about the city, homie. You just a culture vulture ass nigga that seen some shit for sale and you wanted to come profit. Now go ahead and go get some nigga something since I done got on your ass. Go ahead and go try to pound it to some niggas and put some niggas on or do something and help some niggas because you see I'm getting on your motherfucking ass. Go ahead and try to play chess like that. You ain't gonna outsmart me, nigga. I ain't none of these dumb ass fool ass niggas you ever dealt with. I got a whole catalog of shit. Me and Boosie got a mixtape. Nigga, I've been dropping music in Shreveport since 05. I've been touring in, Sh in Louisiana and all these Texas areas since 05. Dumbass, you don't know nothing about our culture. That's why I was going off on this nigga. Cause I know this nigga don't give a f to do no research about us and our people. Shreveport, man, say, man. Stand up or fall for any motherfucker that. You got to stand up for something, man. This nigga no, dumb. What is he you talking about, huh? <laughs> you just proved his point. <laughs> He said you got one song. Right. Ain't nobody talking about what He's they know. The he said this nigga don't know my catalog. You ain't got no notable catalog. Nah, he don't. Halle the Berry. Fuck you talking about? Halle Berry. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, bang. Where bang at? Where bang? Bang was over there caping for this motherfucker. Where bang at? Hey, bang. He could have been hard though. He had. Hey, baby, bang. Hey, baby, bang. Where, hey, baby, at? Where A-Bay-Bay at? A-Bay-Bang. A-Bay-Bang. 
Bang. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Did you just hear what he said? Go pay some niggas in. T- Boy, 50 is not operating down there. Nigga, he gonna put them Navy SEAL niggas at the front of that place and dare you niggas to come in there and be target practice. Send some Navy SEALs. God damn. Dude, that's how he moves. It's a fact. We tried it. I know. <laughs> you ain't got no regular bodyguards with him. Oh, At no all. Way. Hey, Wack already told us that story. Hey, Hell 50 nah. moves right. 50 really Hell moved nah. right. Hey, I told y'all the story when it was just me, Ray J, and Kibo. We saw that nigga outside the hotel and shit. We thought it was about to go up. That nigga was deep. <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> hey, it was about to be a male. Oh. 50 move right, huh? Yeah, he stayed deep. That's a fact. They both crashed. Why does 50 Cent got to do research on the underground rapper's music to go build a film studio? Hold on. Okay, we got Fredo. Who is this? Fredo Bang and Big Fella. Let's see what they had to say. Link up top. If, uh, if they going against what he's saying, he finna be like... Man, nigga tripping, man. Shout out to 50, bro. <laughs> I perform. And shit, I know one thing. In my city, I'm the hot, I'm the hottest in this bitch right now. I'm seven years and running. For real, man. Shout out to 50, man. Hurricane, I don't know what you want, what you didn't pop this morning, what you didn't did this morning that made you be on here and say some shit like that. Man, you tripping, man. It wasn't really about no money, it's about the opportunity. Being able to shake hands with people that you wouldn't better shake hands with. Come on, bro. If you an artist and you didn't network and promote yourself out here, it's your fault. Uh, hold on. Now, Hurricane Chris. Boy, ain't you the same that hit me up last year, asked me how I do my content, then you double back and you was doing the same type of content. Ain't you the same nigga last year called me from inside the fucking race with the stars on the roof on some stunting on a nigga type shit and invited a nigga to Cali, then you start ghosting a nigga. Ain't you the same nigga? You hear me? Told me, send him a record. You heard me? Send him this record specific. I sent you the record. You still ain't know, send a nigga a verse. But you talking about what another nigga doing who from out of town? Who helping turn your city up and you not doing nothing for the state. You not doing nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. But complaining. And you rich as a motherfucker. Shut up. All right, we're gonna leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Hurricane Chris is not happy with 50 Cent, man. And Wack 100 is saying, hey. If you're attempting to extort 50 cent, it's not going to work, man. And I have to say this about this right here, man. This seems like Hurricane Chris may be hating a little bit. He may be a little bitter. Maybe he didn't think about this. And if you're so worried about the property, the cheap property, the cheap land that's available down there in Shreveport, Louisiana, why didn't he buy it up himself? Why didn't you take advantage? Why didn't you be the opportunist? Because that's what business people are business people are opportunists and that's what he's accusing 50 cent of there's no such thing as a bad opportunist when it comes to business and opportunities to grow opportunities to produce more products opportunities to you know hire more people opportunities to build and things like that that's what business people do they see opportunity and they seize it right that's exactly what 50 cent is doing and has been doing man the land is cheap the taxes is cheap hey that's what everybody's doing a lot of people are getting up out of the los angeles area the california area and where are they relocating to the south man mostly in texas right but louisiana getting a little bit of that as well man and hurricane chris i think he's out of bounds for this right here because you should be happy that 50 cent is shining a light on your city man if you didn't do it if you didn't see the opportunity to do it you can't be jealous of this man and i think he's out of pocket man it ain't no such thing as a culture vulture when you're getting into the culture of black folks man 50 cent is black he's not white a black man can't be a culture vulture on another black man right that makes no sense at all we have to stop seeing each other as far as regions are concerned like you from the north i'm from the south you from the west i'm from the east no we all black folks here in this country right different cultures different movements on different sides of the country but it's still black culture hey creole culture still black culture west coast culture still black culture new york culture still black culture southern culture still black culture right just different flavors because it's just in different parts of the world that's all or the country that's all that means man i think he's out of pocket for this man and i don't think no louisiana artist as you've heard 
in the end of this audio, right, there's no Louisiana artist that's going to stand with him against 50 Cent, man. 50 Cent is like Mr. Hollywood right now, man. Everything he touch is gold, man. The dude is pretty much literally a walking TV show, man. He keeps TV shows going and everybody enjoys his show. So an artist from Louisiana see a, a mogul like 50 Cent coming to their city and start making moves, they're going to figure out a way to ingratiate themselves with that, right? Hurricane Chris prayed his cards wrong, man. You burnt your bridge. You burnt your bridge and there's no coming back from that, man, because 50 Cent is a very unforgiving person, right? I think the only person that 50 Cent might have forgave that he had beef with might have been, I guess, Fat Joe and maybe Jadakiss. I think he's still cool with all of those guys. I don't even think him and Game is all the way back cool yet, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Is Hurricane Chris right? Is he wrong? Like, listen. I understand, man. We take possession of our cities and people feel possessed. They think the city, the land belongs to them, man. And he's not the first artist to get upset at people moving into their cities and start to make moves, right? Remember, Uncle Luke did that with Drake and Lil Wayne and them. When they came to Miami, he said, hey, you guys are just down here partying, smashing all the women. You're not doing anything for the community, right? But 50 Cent is actually doing something for the community of Shreveport, Louisiana. He's actually contributing in a positive way down there. So Hurricane Chris should salute that, right? But I get it. He's upset. He don't know what else to do. And maybe he felt like he should have got a phone call to be on that festival simply because He's from Shreveport, and I don't know if he's the biggest artist out of Shreveport, Louisiana. I don't know what other artist is out of Shreveport, Louisiana. If y'all know, let me know. But maybe he feels like, hey, I am legend here. I am the man here. 50, you should have reached out to me and got me on that festival and put some money in my pocket, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. This has been Getty Radio. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.